First, we start with some breaking news this afternoon. First responders on the scene of a fire spanning multiple buildings. This is uh, happening right now on the northwest side. Dana Rebic at the scene. Well, this is in the 2400 block of North Mason. This is near Austin and Fullerton in the uh, Belmont Cragen area. Behind me, you can see crews are still here on scene. This fire was very intense and spreading fast, but the good news is right now they do have it struck out. Now, this all started at about 2 3 this afternoon, and when we first got here, we could see flames shooting through the roof of one of these homes. And then soon after that, firefighters were seen resuscitating a dog that was inside one of these homes. Uh, a witness told us that dog was sort of lying on the ground, not moving. Firefighters quickly giving that dog chest compressions and oxygen. Our photographer who captured that video says a short time later, someone did pick the dog up, carry it away, and said that it was looking much better. Now, fire officials at this point tell us that they believe this all started in a coach house and then spread to three homes as well as a garage that were all involved. Uh, the main house, the coach house, uh, suffered the most severe damage, but uh, uh, most of the homes that were involved next to it just had a siding that was melted and no people hurt as well, which is really good to hear. One firefighter, though, we're told had a minor injury, was transported to the hospital and is in good condition. We did have a chance to speak with two people who live next door to this main home that was involved. One man tells us he was asleep when the fire started. They were big, but then I ran down and I just seen smoke and I, my heart was racing because I didn't know what it was. I was inside <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> then I just saw a window and I saw a fire. So I just ran into the dogs and here I am. That's it. So you so you saw the flames coming from next door? Yeah. Did, did you, how, were you sleeping? What woke you up? Uh, the dogs, they were barking. As you could hear him say there, the, his dog actually was the one who woke him up barking. Uh, his, I believe his sister was in the home as well, and she was able to get out with her dog too. Now, right now, we're waiting for an update from Chicago Fire officials. They tell us at this moment they are doing a very detailed search of that coach house. They say there is the possibility that there could still be one person inside, and if they say that is true, they believe that person could be in very critical condition or worse. Uh, we're supposed to get an update, though, here in just just a couple of minutes, so we'll bring you any new information at 5 o'clock. Live on the northwest side, Dana Rebic, WGN News.